Hi, everybody. Welcome back. This is a taped broadcast. Thanks for being with me. And today we are opening a Goodwill blue box from Florida, specifically from Fort Lauderdale, which I love. And I don't know, at first glimpse, I don't think we're going to be blown away by this one. But I do see a lot of brand new stuff from Claire's which is really nice. And I do have a niece that loves Claire's. And I think, you know, if anything, this will be part of her birthday present. So thanks for joining. I will be going back to an auction on Thursday. And then Don will be back with me the next Thursday for our Bobbles and Bubbles auction. So I'm really looking forward to that. And for now, let's just go through this and see what we have. Um, so like I said, lots of brand new stuff from Claire's. And my niece is gonna be thrilled about that because she loves this stuff. So I'm putting all of this on the side for her. Here's a cute little necklace. And I love that it's in brand new condition. I do send the um, I do send the kids stuff from my craft lots, and um, and that's all good too. But it's really nice that this stuff is brand new. That says Beach Babe. I was just at the Jersey Shore, as you guys know, and had such a good time with my family. Already missing them. Little cute um, butterfly bracelet. I have a special connection with butterflies and my niece because when she was, I want to say three or so, I took her to the exhibit at the Museum of Natural History. And I don't know if you guys have been to the butterfly exhibit there when it was there, but um, it is kind of phenomenal because you walk into a room and there's rare butterflies from everywhere and they allow you to just hold a little piece of orange and the land on you. This is a best friend necklace. So I'm gonna have, um, I think I'm gonna keep one and give her one. We need new ones. We have best friend necklaces from when she was little and she said to me on this trip, cause she surprised me, um, that we need new ones because they're falling apart. And she's absolutely right. This is not Claire's, but it is um, for kids, I think. So that's super cute, little sunshine. She is gonna be thrilled. Um, these lots from Goodwill, I believe they're now $35 instead of 29, something like that. So, you know, honestly, if this all goes to her, I'm happy with that. It's all brand new stuff. She is gonna freak out. Hopefully there's one or two things in here for us too, but it's not looking good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy to be back home, but I'll tell you, wow, there's a lot to do. I mean, I am coming back to not only my day job, but lots of orders, not complaining. I'm thrilled about it. And here's another cute set with a butterfly ring. And it's a little bright in here. I think my ring light's a little bright today uh, with the sunlight. And all this butterfly stuff, she's gonna love it. So cute. Okay, here's something for me, maybe. This cute little earring with beads hanging from it. Let's see if it could be sterling. Doesn't look like it, nope. Got lots of bangles as always in these lots. So I will go through them and see if any of them are silver. It's doubtful. Oh wait, this looks like it, it's marked. Hold on. No, 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 no. So those will all go in craft. I never keep those. And this is pretty worn out. It has a pearl on it. And let's see, it is marked. Let's see what this says. Where's my name? Um, Villa, I don't know, I can't read it. So that's pretty worn out, I'm putting that in craft. 
Let's see. I do have several things to open up this week, though, and I have peeked in there, and it's looking good. So I'm excited about that. And this is one of those bracelets that you wrap around. And it's cute. Very cute. We'll hold on to that. It's in good condition. And that's going into craft. There's some pretty bracelets in here. So we'll hold on to those too. They're in good condition. And those are pretty with the stones. And these are a eh, little, I'm in junkier side. I'm going to toss to craft. And let's see, this looks like handmade. Um, and it's just a cute little beaded. I say little a lot. And I think a lot of us that do this say little a lot. I'm going to try and stop that. This looks sterling to me. Yep, 925. So we'll hold on to this. I bet my niece will like that too. Very pretty glass beads on there. Put that aside. Here's a stretch bracelet. Lots of good stretch left. Guys, as always, if you're interested in any of these pieces, except the ones I am gifting to my niece, let me know. This says Ponchito Brighton Mini Post. I wonder if that's Brighton. Doesn't look like they're branding, but it says Brighton, so maybe that is, I don't know. And we've got a keychain, brand new, it says $6.99, made in China, and it's music notes and um, musical instruments, and it says New Orleans. So there's that. And yeah, like I was saying, guys, if you're interested in any of this, send me an email, Adrian Gale, G A Y L E, at Hotmail. It is listed on my. Um, on my about section of the YouTube page. And I'm always happy to sell direct. So just let me know what you like. And then some will go to auction. Some will go to my Poshmark. Some will go to my Etsy. This is 14 karat gold. So Okay, and I think these are real pearls. They are, yes, they are. And it said something else. 14 karat gold, and then it said G-O-W. So these are beautiful. These are real pearls. I mean, I've already made my money back. Done. Real pearls on gold, 14 karat gold findings, and the lock works. And this is, let's see how long these are. These are beautiful pearls too, by the way, <clears throat> perfect condition. And this is about 16 inches, a little over. These are 17. Ooh, ah, beautiful. That's a really nice find on 14K too. Stunning. Okay. Money made. Boom. Those are worth definitely more than $35. This is pretty. Little bling. I don't like the, the light in here is too bright. Let me let me put this over here for a minute. Yeah, that's better. So yep, so go and craft. This is pretty, but it's missing stones, so that'll go in craft. And the blingy one is also missing stones, so that will go in craft. I feel good that I've made my money back already. And this is pretty worn out. I'll put that in a bead lot. And I am making craft lots for people, so if you're interested in that, please let me know that as well. Let's see what this is. This is a little, I see, we all say it, it's terrible. I, 
don't think this is sterling, but let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. It's kind of, kind of worn down, but what does this say? It looks like it says something. No, I'm gonna put that in craft. I'm not gonna sell that. It's just not, <clears throat> excuse me, in great condition. I'm gonna start to lose my voice. Um, this is, this is pretty for the kids. It's very small. So I'll put that aside for them. And this is all plastic. Craft lot. This will be for the kids. Perfect for them. Let's see. Um, here's an earring. looks sterling to me maybe for scrap I'll test that another for the kids a lot of kids lot stuff in here they are gonna be thrilled and I'm thrilled with the pearls this is a stretch bracelet and it's a little discolored I don't know if I can polish that up I probably can but I don't know. I'm putting that in craft. Okay, more from, I think this is from Claire's. And my niece does not have her ears pierced, so this will go to probably my stepdaughter, although she may have enough of this. I'll talk to her about that. <clears throat> she sends me, it's so sweet. I gave her so much jewelry. She sends me the Adrian jewelry of the day. Every day she wears something different that I've given her and she sends me a picture. And I'll tell you, my Alyssa is absolutely gorgeous. That Everything looks amazing on her. And she gets asked a lot where she gets everything, I'm sure, because she's such a good model, so pretty. That'll go to the kids too. So, she asked me this morning for my channel, my selling channels, my Etsy pages, and my Poshmark, because people keep asking her, where did you get your jewelry? And she's sending customers to me. So, thank you for that, Alyssa. Oh, this week is going to be my first real full week back <clears throat> to my day job. I was working, but on flex schedule last week because I was still in New Jersey. This is pretty for the kids. I bet they'll like that. Sweet little roses. So uh, I'm kind of not dreading it, but I'm already tired <laughs> thinking about it. Oh, this is pretty. That's so blingy. And the stones are all in it. That's cute. I'm going to keep that. See, I like and this matches this one. I like bangles like this. Like if it has a little razzle dazzle or something in it, kid slot, then I'm interested. But like, I don't know, this is plasticky, so that'll go in craft. Gosh, I have so many things to open here because I ordered a bunch of stuff. So when I came back from my trip, I have one, two, three, and this is four, four things to open. And that is such a nice thing to come home to. As you guys know, if you're a reseller or collector, it's very exciting to come home to all this stuff. This is also Claire's. And this must just be like either things that didn't sell or maybe they made a donation so there, my niece is going to forget. She's absolutely going to go bananas over all this stuff that's still in packages. I have to tell my, my friend that this is coming. She's going to be super excited. Okay. Hope you guys are, you guys are doing well. I also hope you're going to join me on Thursday for the auction. And it will be a regular auction. It will not be a buy it now. And Mark did a promo for me. 
And I will be posting that later today. A lot of tangles here, guys. So bear with me. These are plastic. They'll go in craft. And this, um, I don't know about this. I think that's going to go in craft too. Let's see. This is pretty. This is rose gold tone bracelet. This has seen much better days too. That is not cool. That's a nice bracelet. We'll hold on to that. Here's another blingy one that matches the others. So now we have one big and two little. This is plastic. It's going in craft. These are pretty from the Crystal Collection. Oh, these are Swarovski. Very pretty. Gold crystal earrings, brand new. Um, this is this also brand new. Hope, Courage. This is a breast cancer awareness bracelet. It's nice. Plastic. This looks so small. It's a nice condition. This is from Icing 1250. Beautiful barrette. Hold on to that. What is this? Yeah, I saw this before. Um, this is, oh, this is nice. Let's hope we have the pair of this. I'll show you this in a minute. But this is a belt, and it would have been very cool if the stones were still in it, but there's a bunch of missing stones, so I'm putting that in craft. And this is a feather <laughs> earring. It's kind of gross. By the way, yes, my hair is blonder. Um, that was an unexpected change I made at the hairdresser yesterday. But um, I think it needs to be evened out. I need a gloss or something put on it. It's a little blonde. Mark loves it. I probably just need to get used to it, but I'm not used to being blonde. This looks like, oh, this is cute. I have to send this to Mark's, um, to my sister-in-law, to Mark's brother's wife because she is a hockey mom. I wonder, I think this is Sterling. Hold on a minute. It's all different charms. I think this is Sterling. I'm going to clean this up for her. It's um, crystals and it says hockey mom. And I love hockey, and this needs to go to my sister-in-law, Nancy, especially if it's sterling. It's so cute. You can wear this to the hockey games. Um, this is pretty. A little stretch bracelet. I'll probably put that in with the kids' stuff. Here is a pendant. And I do not think that's sterling, but it's nice. No, it's not. I love getting sterling in these things. Here is a hoop earring. There's a couple different hoop earrings in here like this. So we'll see if we have the matches. And that is a little crystal earring too. I don't know if it's Swarovski, but it looks like it. Very pretty. This is for the kids. Oh, that's sweet. A rainbow, a sun. Oh my gosh, they lucked out. They totally lucked out. This looks like it's 14 karat gold to me. Here is, oh, maybe not. This does look sterling though. Hold on. This, this looks like sterling and amber to me. Give me a second. I'm pretty sure, yep. Very pretty, let's see. I know that's sterling, yeah. Very cute. All right, let's see if we have the match to that earring. And this looked 14 karat gold to me, but I don't know, let's see what this says.
10K. So it's got a ladybug on it. Too bad this is broken. That would have been very sweet, but I'll put this into the scrap pile. That is very sweet, little ladybug. And it's on a 14, or sorry, 10 karat gold chain. This must have been for a child. Aw, that's cute. All right, we'll, we'll scrap that. Always good to find gold. Never complain about that. Even if it's broken, it is definitely scrappable. And I've made great money scrapping broken pieces. The last run I did, it was $700. So, not gonna complain about that. This looks sterling to me. And that's very pretty. So it's a little star, let's see if it's marked. I mean, so far, I'm happy. You know, these aren't expensive. This is Peru. Oh. This is 14K, so this must be white gold. And if it's white gold, those could be diamonds or aquamarine. So that's a nice score. Holy cow. That's really cool. Peru, 14K. Beautiful. Hey, look at these diamonds. You know what? These are not diamonds. It's just the way the gold is. This might be an aquamarine, though. So I will I will test that. Actually, I'm going to test it right now. Let's see. We'll turn this proscenium on, and we'll test that in a second. Okay. We're in business here. Another kind of chunky piece. Um, Plasticky. Here's a pin. And I'll test that, but I don't think that's sterling. And this is gonna go in craft because it's missing that big rhinestone there. Here's that other earring. I put the other one in craft. Um, it's attached to this other thing. Hold on a minute. It doesn't look silver or anything. It looks, okay. Looks like maybe tarnished brass. I'll show it to you in a second, guys. All right, let me know what you think of this lot and let me know if you're interested in anything. And this is broken. Then we'll go and craft. Aw, oh, this is sweet. Too bad this is broken too. So I will, um, I might hold on to this for my friend Cynthia who has been making beadlots because that might be coral. I don't know. I'm going to put that aside. Here is a bracelet. Let's see what it says. Fossil. It's a piece bracelet. And that's in decent condition. We'll hold on to that. So we'll another plastic um, bracelet. Gosh, there's still so much here. This is this is one of those, you know, velvet um, what do you call it? Chokers. Ah, I'm not back to normal yet. Okay, this is the, I think this is the earring that is the match to this, but this is broken. And I thought this was sterling. Let me see if this is marked inside. I need the light for this one. I hope it is sterling. It's actually very heavy. I don't see a marking, and we'll have to test that. Don't know. It's pretty though. All right, let's hold on to that. 
And this looks like clay. Um, this also looks like it's marked on here. Huh. Um, no, this is costume. I'll put it over here for a second. Let's see like that. These are all these plasticky um, bangles. I'm only saving the bangles that are, I think, like a little more interesting. Here's a silver tone earring. Hold on to that. And we've got some hoops. Let's see if these could be sterling. No, no. Cute hoops, though. Love my hoops. We'll save this for the. Oh, no, this is religious. Um, I was going to say we'll save this for my nieces, but not if it's religious. I'm going to save that for them because um, they're not of the Catholic faith. This is rusted on the back of it, so I'll put that in craft. This is, let's see. This looks like a crystal earring. We'll see if we have the match to that. This looks sterling. Let's see. Yep, I'm starting to really be able to tell oh, right off the bat, which is nice, is that's new for me. This has nice weight to it, by the way. Very pretty sterling charm. This is a good lot, guys. Here is a ring. Let's see if this is marked at all. I don't think so. It's got some pretty stones in it. I'll hold on to that. Here's the match to that earring. I just showed you the crystal one. And let's see. I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's anything interesting. Put that aside. Well, this is a pretty blue. Look at this pretty earring. I had to open this window. Sorry, guys. I don't know if the lighting got better or worse, but I'm burning up and I need to open this window. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a beautiful pendant. People will go nuts for this at auction. Everyone loves amber. That's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of, of some of these findings. Um, this is a heavy gold tone chain. As you guys know, this is very in this year. That's a great find. It's in nice condition. See that. And this is a bunch of rings from Forever 21 on card. Here we have a pair of hoops. And I don't know if these are sterling or not, but these are nice. Very pretty. I don't think they are, but let's see. Nope, they need to be cleaned up too. So those are cute. Let's see if I can clean those up. Here is the match to one of those hoops. And that's pretty. It's a little rusted though, a little worn out. Cute earring though. Sometimes I wonder like, can I clean this up or? I don't know. Probably try. It's a pretty earring. Okay, I think this is a really nice lot. And here is a lever back earring. Gosh, there's still so much here, guys, and I feel like I already did so well. Here is a costume necklace. 
Looks like it's in good condition. Pretty color. I like this coral. Unmarked in terms of brand. Sorry, I dropped something. It's for my kids. I don't like the light. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, okay. These are dolphins. I always get this kind of stuff in these lots. Um, it's like a um, abalone inlay piece. See that? It's in good condition. Very good condition. I don't think that's sterling, but let's see. No. It's cute, though. The kids might like that as well. Um, this is a pretty hoop. And like a black enamel. Very nice. And another hoop in turquoise is kind of bent, but no, it still works. <clears throat> this looks like it could be sterling, not sure, with a crystal. Nope. Pretty though, but it's not. Um, here's a hoop. Hmm. Not magnetic. Oh, I feel like I need another cup of coffee, guys. Not marked. Maybe Vermeil. I'm not sure. This may be Vermeil. We'll have to test that. And, oh, this is so cute. I have to give this to my hairdresser. It's so sweet. This is a pin with a little scissor on it. Every time I find something like this, I, I give it to her. She's probably sick of it, but I always think of her. She's very sweet. So that's adorable. Very cute. And here is a pin. Looks like an eagle. Maybe this is an Eagle Scout pin of some sort. Sometimes these pins are gold. This one's not. I'm putting that in craft. Probably won't sell that. What is this? That's pretty. What is the stone? This could be silver. I'm not sure. Let's see. No. Pretty earring. Still not used to the camera angle of this, guys. Ginger with this. This is there's a whole hunk of gold stuff in here. Oh boy. What is going on? Okay, there's a lot of tangles in here. But I also see a lot of gold. So hold the phone. Hold the phone. Gold chains, guys, very big right now. And where is my thing? Yeah. Okay, this is marked. Let's see what this says. This has an M on it. Um, but it's very tarnished. And I think. That was maybe an M for the Monet, the modern Mon Monet. I don't know. But it's not magnetic, so it doesn't look like gold or silver, but it could be Vermeil and the coating came off, so I will test that. I will test that. Okay. Then there were a lot of gold chains linked together, so let's see what this is. This looks costume, but it's very pretty. And let's just see. One of the chains looked real to me, but. Huh, interesting. Are they all together? This, it's so funny. One of the chains is not magnetic and the other few are. Let me see if it has any marking. OK. 
could be gold plated. Um, don't know. Cute necklace though. And this is very popular right now, all the chains. So we'll hold on to that. Very pretty. Let's see if the heart says anything. I like this. Very nice. Very cute necklace. See what this is. This is, I don't know, this is pretty banged up. I'm going to put this into craft. Is there any maker's mark on here? Pretty worn out. Um, yeah, that's going into craft. Craft locked. This matches the necklace that I showed you earlier. So that's cute. Here is, this is a very pretty earring. Beautiful. Look at that. And it's got a, wow, that's so pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous earring. Huh. Yeah, that's magnetic. I love it. I hope that we will find the other one. This says, probably Japan. Yep, it says Japan. Clip on. And this is another one of those bracelets. Here we have a hoop. Let's see if this could be sterling. I don't think so. Nope. And this is the match to the other silver earring I showed you before. Here is another pearl necklace. And the um, it's broken, the clasp. And I don't think these are real. So, nope, we'll put that in the craft lot. Match to the hoop I showed you earlier. Crystal stretchy. Oh, yes. Okay. The match to this. I love this earring. This is stunning. I might bring those to auction. Not sure. I might keep them too. I don't know. I love them. I'm keeping them. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I love them. Absolutely love them. I have to, I feel like I have to Google them because they look really interesting. I may have to test that stone too. Those are so pretty. Okay. Here we have a lot of tangles. This looks sterling to me. Sometimes I get lucky with the Florida stuff. Other times, no. I've had a couple different experiences there um this okay this looks what is this oh this is one of those expanders um is this sterling i can't tell Hold on. this looks like it could be sterling yeah i think it is this needs polishing um but i think that that's Actually, 925. Um, don't know, but I'm pretty sure it is. All right, we'll clean that up. This is heavy. And this, I'm pretty sure, is also sterling. Hold on. Nope, this is 14 karat. White gold. Wow. Okay. Hello. Amazing. I had gold somewhere else, and now I don't know where I put it. Um, and this, I don't know if this was on it or what, but it fell off as I was pulling that out. But I don't think that this is 14K. I think that that's sterling. Okay. Great lot, guys. This is costume. This is going in craft. This is paparazzi, brand new. 
Some of their stuff is cute, I'll tell you. Other stuff of theirs, I'm like, eh, not so much. Okay, what is this? This looks vintage. And I don't see a marking yet. U.S. gold chain. I've never seen a marking like that. I'm going to have to test this. It actually looks like it could be, but needs to be cleaned. And if that's gold, I'm, I'm going to be like bonkers because that's beautiful. All right, we'll put that over there. Thank you, Florida. I love you. Great lot. Amazing lot. Remember I told you this was big this year, guys. Starfish. Let's see what this is. And this is, let's mark PD. I don't know what that means, but this looked sterling to me. So let's see. I'll test this, but I think that that's sterling. Or gold. Who the heck knows with this lot? I don't know. I don't think they went through it. This could be, this could be white gold. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to test that. Amazing. Okay. Now, this also I'm putting aside for Cynthia because th these I think are crystal and, um, sorry, not crystal, um, coral. Very pretty beads. I wish these weren't broken. But these are beautiful. I'm putting them aside for her. Oh, I know what the other white gold thing was this. So we'll put that there. And this will go in craft. It's broken. We're still not even close, guys. This is, um, these are pretty stones. I'll put that in the bead lot as well. And that'll go in craft. Let's see what this earring looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, there's a stone missing, darn it. Too bad. I mean, I don't know. Can you tell though? Let's hold on to that for a minute. Let me think about that, guys. This is a ring that looks like a John Hardy or something. Let me see. Let's see if I've got a marking in here. Um, there is a maker's mark. It looks like HH. Is that Halston? Or is that John Hardy? I have to look, I don't, you know, I actually don't know what his marking is, but that looks like a John Hardy to me. So we'll hold on to that and test it. And this is the match to that earring I showed you guys earlier, the crystal. Here we have, um, this looks like sterling, maybe cubic, zirconia. So excited for my auction now because I'll definitely bring some of these pieces. Let me know which ones you want to see. And I already have so much put aside, amazing stuff, because I, I started working on the next auction after the last auction. And I always put stuff aside if I feel like you guys will like it or if it's something that might not be a fit for me or whatever. Um, sometimes I just have a feeling about what other people will be excited about. I try and I try really hard to bring stuff that's unique and also that's a range because, you know, some people spend a ton of money on jewelry. Other people like myself, um, <laughs> like a bargain and, you know, they like something a little more reasonable and I really do try and 
bring everything because sometimes you want to splurge and sometimes not. That's going craft. And there's a lot of very dainty chains here and I'm going to gingerly pull apart. Um, this is a pendant that says love on it. And I don't know if that's sterling or not, but we'll see. Mm, not magnetic. Let's see what this chain is. I think this is sterling, but I thought a couple things were sterling and they were 14K, so who knows? 925. And that's a cubic. I, I kind of know this style. I've seen it before. So this is very pretty cubic zirconia heart and that's on sterling that's very nice and what is this earring interesting very interesting earring i don't know if all the stones are there but wow that's so pretty beautiful needs a little cleaning up but that's gorgeous Really nice. Very pretty for dress up. And let's see if this says anything. It looks like this is a 14 karat gold um, post. Don't know. Very pretty earring. Let's hope we have the other one. I am going to. I was gonna put this in craft, but that's a shell. That's kind of neat. I thought it was plastic at first. Let's hold on to that. This is an earring. Very pretty. I'm gonna put that in craft. Wow, I'm excited about this lock, guys. It's a nice bracelet, toggle closure, crystals. Pretty sure that's sterling. This piece of hair here. Yep, I'm pretty sure. Well, the beads aren't. I think the toggle is sterling. Let me see. Um, I can test it. Not sure, but that's a pretty little bracelet. And this is a pendant. Looks like rose quartz, but it's not. Here's the match to, oh wait, this is interesting. I'm gonna see if I can get some information on this. Oh, this is alloy, and it looks like that other earring, right? Um, but it has a um, barcode on it, a QR code. So I'm gonna, See if I can get to the bottom of that, because there's a few of those in here. And here's a little fashion bracelet. That will go to the kids. This is, this is a stretch that's losing its stretch. I don't know if that's silver. Silver to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna test that. We'll put that over here. Another sparkly bracelet. Pretty. And a stretch with some nice stretch. We'll hold on to this. Okay. A lot of tangles, guys. Sorry. This is for the kids' lot. I don't know who that little guy is. They may know. Oh, there's another bracelet. Oh my gosh, there's a whole stack of these. This is sweet. This says love, and it's like, well, um, it's like tie dye, ombre, I should say. I'll put that in the kids' lot too, and. Lots of stuff for the kids and for me, right? It's on the bottom of this thing. This says, trust in your dreams. 
whoops, but these have seen better days, these beads. So that's going to go in craft and let's see what this is. Here's an earring. Let's see if it's marked at all. No. Costume earring. Let's see if we have the mate. And I think we had the mate to this or something like it. Not 100% sure. Let's we'll look. What's this? This also looks like a John Hardy something. Um, This looks like one of those extenders that opens. Yep. Let me see if this is silver. This could be silver. Oh, I was supposed to test. What was I supposed to test, guys? My fingers are like ridiculous. It's all dark um, from the dirt. Well, now I have something else to test. Oh, I know what I was testing. I was testing. The stone in the 14 karat gold piece. All right, now I'm going to test this stone. Hold on. Okay, this is glass, but I think sterling. And let me see what that blue stone was in the 14 karat pendant, which I'll show you in a second. Yeah. I figured that's topaz. Okay, so that's blue topaz. Very pretty. I'm probably going to bring that to auction, guys. So we'll see if anyone's interested. And these look sterling to me. Let's see if they're marked. Don't know. A lot of sterling and gold in here. Very nice. Oh my gosh, it's almost an hour. That looks sterling to me. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and get through this. Oh boy, these are pretty. Wow. Someone did not check these things because there's a lot of sterling. Or, or they just wanted me to be lucky. These will all be tested before auction, but I'm pretty sure that's amber and sterling. Very pretty. And we had a pendant, amber pendant, and we're still waiting to find that mate. So let's let's see what we can do here. Okay. Let's see this earring. Amber colored, but I don't believe that's amber. And wow, so many of these earrings in here and they're gorgeous. What is this? I mean, this is so pretty and exotic looking. I'm gonna have to test all this stuff because this, this just looks really special to me. You know, I mean, I, I don't know if it's silver or gold or what. No, it's not. But they're they're absolutely beautiful. So a lot of gorgeous earrings in here. Beautiful pieces. Pretty earring. And I think I got lucky because when I opened it, I had the kids in mind and I was excited to gift them things. And then all of a sudden, I started seeing special things for me and for you guys for the auction. All right, very pretty. That looks like it's silver. Let's see. Beautiful beads there. Nope. Actually, the jump ring isn't, but it looks like the chain is. Very pretty. Here. Beautiful. And here's the match to the one I just showed you. 
a lot of matches in here too. Um, what is this? Okay. This looks like it's broken. And I'm going to put that in craft because it's also magnetic in addition to being broken. And that's one of those net earrings. I'm going to put that in craft. And these are linked together. These look like they're sterling with maybe sea glass. No, they're cute. I'll hold on to that. These are going into craft. I have a bunch of untangling to do. Guys, here's a bow silver tone necklace. Chain's kind of eh. Yeah, that, I think that'll go into craft. Unless the, the bow could be saved. No, it's attached. All right, that'll go into craft. And this is, I don't know, it's a weird closure. That's going into craft too. We have a whole set of these bracelets. And this is that clay earring I saw before. A little stretchy. I'll put that in craft. I'm not going to use that. Oh, good. Here's that earring. I thought this was beautiful. These need to be cleaned, but they are really, really lovely. Beautiful for dress up. Now that we're all getting out there, I'm so excited. Here's a little cute bead earring. And we've got this costume piece. Hold on. Lots of tangles. Sometimes I think that's the best because people get lazy, I think, and they don't want to untangle the stuff. And that's when you start to find like 14 karat gold chains and things. Um, okay, that's going to take a couple minutes. Hold on. What is this? What does that say? Padre Nuestro que estás en los cielos. No idea. That's, I think, a hair tie, maybe? Yeah. So I'm going to put that in craft. This is broken. Craft. I never saved those bracelets. So I hope someone does something with them because I feel like all of us throw them into craft and I'm hoping, oh my gosh, guys, do you see this? It's like one big tangle. Oh boy. Um, that's just a pin. And there's the match to that earring. This has a little bit of stretch left. Not much. I'm putting that in craft. Guys, I may have to finish this up on my own. Let's see. Pretty crystal earring. We've got... What is this? An earring. Kind of a chain style beaded earring. Um, this I'm putting in craft, it's broken. And craft, craft. This will go to the kitties. This is very big this year, by the way. These colorful 
necklaces with beads for adults, not just for kids. So that will go to my kids though. And we've got some more clear stuff here. Also a lot of tangles. Hold on. Oh boy. Okay, I don't wanna break that. Guys, I may have to do this on my own. Let's see what this says. Here is a moon in rose gold. That's pretty. I think I have stars in rose gold too from this lot. This is China. It's cute. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna finish this up on my own because I I don't wanna keep you as I'm untangling all of this. And it's already been an hour. So I don't know. Let me see if I can pull out a couple more things. I always do that, don't I? I say I'm going to go off the camera and then I keep rolling. Pretty Alex Nani style bracelet. Broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've got another sterling star cubic zirconia in here, I think I see. All right, let's see what this is. And, oh, this is pretty. Hold the phone. Gosh, this is tangled. This, this is gonna take me like a year to undo. And let me just see how this is marked. This looks sterling to me too. And it looks like, hmm. Yep, yeah, 925. Okay, so this needs to be untangled, but it looks like there's a couple different pendants on here. All right, guys, I'm gonna sign off. I will show you what else I find in this lot, but this was pretty unbelievable, I think, considering this was, what, 30 bucks? And I got 14 karat in here, topaz. I'm gonna test this, but I think this is, I think this is gold too. I don't know. All right, more next time, and I will see you on Thursday.